We are Carrie and Josh. We are sharing things that, in our experience, work for us and could also work for you. So we have entered a new training block, and last week I reviewed the math base building run block from September to November and the building, uh, the bike block from December through February. Now that we've entered this last training block before race season, uh, that doesn't mean that all of that heart rate, that math training goes away. What happens now is we just introduce some uh, different workouts in to build on some speed. And so what we have um, is we're still doing some of those math workouts. That helps to keep the easy work easy in quotes. Uh, it helps uh, your body be able to recover and to do more with it. So this week uh, I will show you some of the workouts but um, the transition was pretty good. The The one thing that really threw a wrench in things is we had a downhill ski field trip with my fifth grader and I have not downhill skied other than one time probably about 23 years ago in college and that has wrecked my legs from Wednesday to it's Sunday now and they're finally feeling a tiny bit better. Now I will say it did not affect any of the workouts other than maybe Saturday. Uh, legs were a little bit more tired. So we have a plan going in, and I've already adjusted it a little bit. Um, so Tuesday, I'm going to have a bike interval workout, a pyramid bike interval workout. And um, so I won't be worrying about heart rate with that one, going for more intensity. And then on Wednesdays, uh, it's going to be a temple run. And... Uh, Fridays will be that math bike that I did where it was in the big gear, four minutes uh, at math in big gear, hardest gear to pedal, and then a one minute easy, uh, and to do that for a 30 minute bike. So we'll bring that one back in because I know that will uh, help keep the legs fresh. Saturday is going to be a 60 minute uh, math bike and then a 15 minute run off the bike. And then Sunday is going to be the long run. And so I'm aiming for about a 45 minute run with that one. And then we're gonna throw some swim workout in either Saturday or Sunday, depending on uh, time and, and what we have uh, available for doing other things because swim will not be uh, built right off of the other ones. So um, that's the plan. It's already changed once, so we'll see. But again, I'm working a, a lot of math in, and I'm trying to get in one interval on the bike and one interval on the run uh, in the week. So it's still keeping it not exactly 80-20, 80% uh, easy, 20% hard, uh, but one harder bike for building speed, one harder run for building speed. And again, we can adjust the intervals and I might adjust instead of a tempo run to do some track work uh, or some hills, uh, depending on, on how things feel and, and what I wanna do. So here's a little recap of what this week looked like. This was my Tuesday uh, ride. And this week, Tuesday, I did the big gear four minutes on, one minute off, 30 minute ride. That was going to be what I did on um, Tuesdays with a math bike on a Friday, but I've decided to switch it up a little bit to get another interval in. So again, one thing you have to remember when you're looking at that fantastic number right there, my virtual miles per hour are not calibrated correctly. So there is absolutely no way I was going 32.1 miles an hour on an average. Um, what I use that for, rather than trying to go back and figure out exactly what the calibration should be, um, because I figured that out partway through, I just use that number and I know that that's not a realistic number. 
and so I, I just use it as a measuring stick. So obviously I did not go 16.8 miles um, at 32.1 average miles an hour. So this was Tuesday's bike. Again, felt really good going into here are the splits for the the math or the tempo run. And I originally going into it was going, hmm, I can run a seven minute per mile pace at my 5Ks for my triathlon. So I want my tempo to be a 645. And then the night before I went, that's not realistic. So I switched it to seven between seven minute and seven fifteen pace, and uh, so I jumped right out. Ooh, really good. Four minutes on tempo at six fifty one, and then an easy one minute, and then back to four minutes. It was seven oh nine, so still within my range. And then the third interval seven fourteen, good. Then seven seventeen, seven eighteen, seven twenty four. So I kind of dropped off a little bit. And again, that was my first run since November. So that's not too bad. I would love to have those splits this next round um, be a little more even. So maybe I will have to hold back and not go gung-ho on the first interval. But um, give it a little ease back and just aim for the pace instead of as hard as I can go. But that was my, those are my tempo splits. And then it's deciding not to move for me. So let's see if I can figure out why my photos are not going. Turns out it helps if I can figure out which direction I'm supposed to be going on my computer. So here is Friday's just 30 minute math heart rate. Um, I was worried going into this because my legs were still really, really sore from skiing, but again, using different muscles while my hamstrings and quads and calves were really sore. It was not the same parts of those muscles, I guess, that I was using for the bike because this is pretty much where I've been sitting at for my 30 minute heart rate rides, um, with an, uh, my average virtual speed, which again, isn't calibrated correctly. Then we go into Saturday. This week, the plan was going to be long ride, short run, Sunday, long run. Well, Mother Nature decided to throw a wrench in that. And so uh, ice and snow were coming for Sunday morning. In Waconia, we ended up with about four inches of snow. So there was no way I was going to be able to run Sunday morning. So uh, I set a goal for my hour bike, which again, if any time I can hit and sustain that average speed, which is about what I can do on a 30 minute one, if I can sustain it for an hour, that's just showing that um, I've really built that good uh, base engine. And so I was able to hold that. So I was pleased with that. And then a very tired set of legs on the run. Normally this will be a 15 minute run, but since I knew Sunday was gonna be a no run day, um, I just, I went for 30 minutes. And so we'll see where the pace goes um, when we get to a, a normal 45 minute long run where I uh, haven't biked before it. Uh, but we'll also see where the 15 minute run after the bike goes uh, when we get a normal weather week. Although looking ahead this week, it's going to be very cold on Saturday morning, which stinks in March, but we go with what we got. Uh, and then Sunday I did the pyramid interval bike workout that I'm going to do on Tuesdays. Tried it out just to see how much time it took. So that's how the week went. And all in all, a few adjustments, but, but I think it went pretty well. So, uh, We'll continue to make adjustments and add for speed and check for weather. Again, I know Saturday is going to be frigid cold, uh, but I'm only running 15 minutes. I'm not going to put together a really long run off the bike. So hopefully Sunday I can put together a 45 minute run and uh, at math heart rate and see how it goes. So I will let you know how the actual plan works 
and it's nice that I've got spring break so I can check out all the timing of things this week and, and see how it goes before we add another stressor in with baseball season starting. So that's a recap of what things are hopefully going to look like and how things went in the first week of this block.